This is the path of the virus, from the Davis house to the theater here. By now, there'll be a good few sidelines. We have a list of all the places the boy Davis can remember going to since he became infectious 12 days ago. The theater, two cinemas, pump room dance, colonnade restaurant, and an unidentified coffee bar. Our urgent job is to find every person who was in any of these places on the dates he was there. Is that clear? Yes, and when yes, we find them? Report their names and addresses to the doctors. They'll be vaccinated, isolated to their houses or wherever they are for 16 days. What powers do we have, The sir? powers of persuasion. Are all contacts infectious, sir? Not until the symptoms show up, which is sometime after the 10th day. And Davis has been around for nearly three weeks. Fowler, Thompson, the cinema. He can't remember where he sat, just somewhere in the stalls. Sanders, pump room. This lot's liable to involve half the city. So is an epidemic. You take the colonnade restaurant. The rest of you, find that coffee bar. Not yet. I haven't finished. We've borrowed a snapshot of the boy Davis, and the Chronicle's making some prints. Pick them up. Buckridge, yes? Where about? Whitney Lodge. Right. Give me the details. His daughter. Have we a list of her movements? Yes. Another one? Suspected. Now, how many of you have been vaccinated in the last 12 months? Right, you four get going. Use your own cars, we pay for the juice. Not you, Newton. The rest of you downstairs. You'll find two pretty nurses who want you with jackets off and left sleeves rolled up. I was done about 18 months ago. So was I, and I'm not griping. I wasn't Downstairs griping. and get stretched. Did you mean me to go too, sir? No. You'll cover this with me. Yes, sir. Get on to Police Superintendent Gough. This is absolute priority. Ask if their information room would get a message through... To Dr. Boswell, Medical Officer of Health. Message starts. New area of risk at Whitney Lodge, Lansdowne Crescent. Now being covered by Chief Public Health Inspector. Message ends. KG, over. Yes, we got that. Dr. Boswell's not here yet, but there is something arriving now. KG, one, four, over. Morning, Doctor. Hello, oh, Cleaver. This the house? Yes, everybody's in. This just came through from the PHI, sir. How many of these people would crowd out an unexploded bomb? All of them. Uh, they won't open, sir, unless I tell them to. Get their names and where they live on this street. Ask them to be kind enough to go home and wait for us to visit them. I should say you'll have a job. Oh, no, sir. I live on this street myself. Oh, it's all right. It's the medical officer. May we come in, Mr. Davis? Oh, this is Dr. Max. He'd like to make a brief check-up. How is she, Doctor? Is there any change? I'm afraid we can't expect much change, Mr. Davis. I see. In here? Yes. Have you been told what all this is about? Well, Mr. Cleaver explained. Sydney, turn that down a bit. It's meant to be loud. It's no good if it's not. Well, take it off. Do you understand how you can help us then by staying in your house for a couple of weeks? Well, what about my job? I mean, suppose they stop my wages. They won't. Sydney, the kettle. Okay, Dad. Where are we going to do all this? Well, even use the girls' room. Right, take the ladies first, shall we? Good, me first. I said to make your beds. Well, you know you make your beds. What does it look like? Mine's made. Right. And which of you two is the healthiest? Me. I've got a cold nose. Feel. Mmm, ice cold. And the other one. Now take your top off. How about you, Daphne? No spots or aches anywhere? No. Mind you, the boy didn't feel good since he came home. But he fought it. You know, on leave, don't want to miss anything. Well, you'll be all right. It's very bad, isn't it? With the wife? It could be worse. Things can always be worse. All right. Who is it? Cleaver, sir. 
No trouble at all, sir. They're all waiting at home for you. Oh, good work. And there's also a list of 16 other people who called here in the last 10 days. And including tradesmen? Milkmen, postmen, paper boys, insurance and rent collectors. Phone them right away to the health department. Can we start preparing for disinfection now, sir? Yes, come in. Upstairs, both rooms. I'll be up in a minute. Examined, vaccinated and ready for breakfast. Yes, I want some porridge. It's all right, in a minute. Would you like a cup of tea? No, thanks. We have so much to do. Let me have your arm, There's no please. milk anyway. Well, why not? Well, I suppose because no one ordered it. How are we going to have porridge without Would you milk? like a welfare volunteer to live in and help? No, we'll be all right. Uh, I think we'd rather be on our own. We'll be all right. Your groceries and things will be delivered. They'll be put in a special bin outside so that they'll keep clean and dry until you fetch them in. I see. Yes. You do understand. No one must go out for any reason whatsoever. Yes, that'll be all right. We don't have anything, do we? No, of course not. It's only a precaution. One of the inspectors will come and see you every day. You bring the news of your wife and son, so you won't really be out of touch. Thank you. 